Hey everyone, welcome back to No Messing Around RC with another video. I know it's been a really long time since our last video, and we're sorry about that, but we're going to try to get back into it. And today we have a programming tutorial on how to program your so-called intelligent battery chargers. Now, uh, we choose this one, not this particular model, but these chargers, these four-button chargers, because they're very standard. A lot of people have them, and they're um, and the programming for all these chargers are the same, no matter the model or brand with the four buttons they seem to all be the same programming so um, so this should apply to all brand or models as long as they have the four buttons now let's get into it so it depends on the battery that we're gonna charge and see as it says here well for example I'm we're gonna be using a 5,000 milliamp 7.4 volt battery now this battery is very common and so that's why we kind of chose it now okay so what we're gonna set up where we're gonna do is we're, there's all these settings in here and we can go through it's for lead acid um, nickel metal hydrate NICAD lipo and there's also lifey oh I don't know where it is I'll go oh man there's your data your data that you can save all right, let's go back to LiPo. Okay, so we're gonna select LiPo and we go to LiPo Charge. And as you can see here, it's 5,000 or five milliamps, or five amps, I'm sorry. And why it's five amps is because it's 5,000 milliamps. And see, the 5,000 would represents the five here. So if you have a 4,600 milliamps per hour, then you're gonna do 4.6. And you basically just take off the two the two zeros at the end of it. So there's the errors that so whatever whatever the milliamps per hour is, it's that taking off the two zeros. Now, as we move back over to this side of the screen, um, we have the volts. So 7.4 volts is the um, two cell standard voltage, and the so like a three cell battery is usually like 11 volts and then they have four cell and you change this. So to change the value is um, we hit, we click that and then see if you use the increase and decrease to change this number. So if we had a different battery here, we would change that. Now to change the voltage, click it again and then it should only have um, the three or four settings. It's one. One cell, two cell, three cell, and four cell. I don't think there's a five cell. Oh, there is a five cell. Well, anyway, so that uh, you just have to choose your cells. And you can know the cells by, a lot of times it'll say, this one actually doesn't say. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does right there. It's scratched out. It does say, but you can always know by the voltage. Um, voltage right here. The voltage will either be 7.4 to be two cells, or as it says here, 11 the three and you so you'll know that there okay so that's how you charge it and that those are the values on the screen now with um, it's it's the same I mean to put that back to what it is okay and see when you that these batteries oh, I'm sorry these chargers have lots of options you know lipo balance lipo fast charge um, lipo storage discharge all these things and they're all the same um, values for the battery the discharge all of it the only thing that changes is the fast charge and the fast charge it gets more complicated because you have to balance your milliamps per hour with your cells otherwise it'll overheat and ruin your battery so you have to balance how many amps you can charge it with how many C's because that's the the discharge rate so those are those are more complicated and we'll get into that maybe some other time now to program something maybe not a lipo battery we're gonna go out back in the settings and then I have here a nickel metal nickel metal battery and um, this is also rather common and it's pretty much the same deal with this um, except that all you have to do is the amps which this is not set up for this battery so this is a 4200, so we would want to put it at 4.2. Uh, 
and that's all you have to do for these. And the same with the discharge, the cycle charge, and while I'm at it, the cycle charge for nickel metal, batter, nickel metal hydrate batteries is for balance out all the cells in these batteries. Because you know, one, one cell will have more power than less, and another one has less, one have more, and the other power, the other cell has less. So what the balance charge is, it creates all the cells to have the same amount of power in them so that it's uh, consistent and you can get a full charge and a full discharge from it. And the same with the balance charge on a LiPo battery. It just balances out the cells. So there's that, and then the discharge is the exact same thing. There it is. But the discharge, you do need to put the volts which the battery is. So this is a 7.2 volt. So you need to put that here, which is, it's not right. But um, when you program it, you have to change that. And that should be that for that. We thank you for watching this video. Hope we didn't bore you too much. And um, I hope that you like our video and comment. And um, if you have any questions or something we did wrong, tell us if you have any ideas of things we should do with our equipment. Tell us and we'll try to make that happen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we broke that thing. <laughs> we left it there. <laughs> you push it off. We'll just edit that part out, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs>